Hello everybody, Quentin here. Today we are harvesting, as you can see. We have the combine harvester on the go. And I just want to make a very quick check here. Pause. Okay, we are dropping straw. Fantastic. I forgot um, on the first headland to begin dropping straw and that was not exactly the best idea I ever had. So, we are harvesting our wheat. We are in the class Dominator 88S, which, granted, is not the largest combine in the world, but should do us uh, relatively nicely. I have had a phone call from Dave. He said he wants to have access to our combine um, in the near future. For the single crop harvest on Thornton Farm, I've said fine. He um, he will be providing the the trailer, and I think the method of moving the trailer, which is going to be his fast truck, um, he's asked me to join him up there, and I will be driving my lovely Opel up to the. Um, lovely wilderness up in Thornton to drive the combine for him. So I get to drive this some more. He gets to do his harvest, and uh, I believe everybody's happy. Was that is the most important thing is that he he does need to get his crops in, and it's actually cheaper for him to um, pay the fuel costs of him coming down here and picking up the combine and go, then going back up to Thornton. And I'll clean the combine up for him, of course. But it, it will be the, um, the optimal strategy for him. And I don't know exactly where he is in terms of time on Thornton. I believe he is hoping to get his, his harvest done um, relatively soon in, in the, the, the timeline you fine folks are, are seeing on YouTube. So um, you may get a combining video from him in the very near future. But you might get something completely different at the same time. He might decide to um, go mowing again or something before he moves on to the... Um, all important harvest. So we have the Zetor Crystal waiting at the side of the field, ready for us to unload. Um, it is off at a weird angle, but it should do. We are. This is going to take a while. This this is not the, the fastest. Of the widest combine in the world, and this field is rather large. I am thinking that perhaps um, a larger combine might be in order, and we can gift this to Dave as well. Thornton doesn't have many crop fields, we have quite a few, and perhaps having a larger combine on here. Um, around the farm would be a good idea. A botheration will fall. Alright. Off to the crystal we go. In fact, let's just do some magic. There we go. So. Um, prior to number one is going to get the going to be getting the straw off the field. I don't want to use small bales because oh my god we'll end up with thousands of the little buggers. I think the time has come for us to begin looking at larger balers, potentially round balers. Although the issue there is round bales have a habit of rolling. I think the better option would be a square baler. 
and something like a Mass Effect and Five. Although the, there is a, a class Roland beta that's quite cheap. Um, I don't know exactly how we're going to afford it, but I'm, I'm going to have some thinking time because. Well, this, this straw needs to come in for sure. It needs to be sold off. Um, we may, in fact, we may give it to the cows. Hmm. I may have a word with Dave because I happen to know he has a square bell wrapper. He no longer wants. As well as a bailer. Now, if I can have a word with him and get the bales off him, then, or bailer off him, more to the point, and the wrapper, we could, in theory, get some very good progress made very quickly. Pipe seemingly not want to come in. There we go. Pipe's coming in. We're off for another. Probably, roughly half a headland. I would imagine. And uh, the best, my best guess would be we'd, we will be doing uh, three headlands on this field. Then moving on to the up and ups and downs, and I should point out that of course the um, scheduling on 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 Dave's channel is a bit odd this week uh, due to various things going wrong. There will be some changes made, I believe, and um, he has unfortunately decided that. My videos will be moved to Tuesdays and Thursdays, which means you will be get, putting up with me twice per week and dealing with him three times per week, uh, starting, I believe, tomorrow. Due to various other commitments he has that he is going to be uh, video recording and putting up on his channel. So, we are... Hmm. Taking our time. How much would a new combine harvest be? Just out of curiosity. There should, there, there should be a dominator 208. So, this is 6,400. We've got this, which is 4,600. Alright, so the, the next step up would really be... We could go for this for 145,000 pounds, uh, plus 18,000 for the header. The header we have right now is basically the same size, so that wouldn't be... I think the next step up would be the New Holland. Or, yes, the New Holland. Um, which would mean we'd be, we would need quite the loan. Oh, I don't know. Much thinking will happen. Now, the two bailers I'm thinking about is number one, Dave's bailer, which is a massive Ferguson 5. Um, puts out nice bales and, and, and we can wrap them and we can do whatever we want with those bales. Now he's only just bought that, so maybe he won't want to get rid of it. The other bale we have in I have in mind is the uh, class Roland, two, I believe it's 250, 250. And that one might be better. It's cheaper, which is always a good bonus, but it is a round baler which is not 
a very good bonus. However, it's the cheapest bailer on the market at the moment. It, I believe twenty-one and a half thousand pounds, twenty-one thousand five hundred pounds, which we might be able to make back fairly quickly if we were to. And this is going to potentially sound like a a balmy solution to this. If we were. to mill all the fields, make one of them into hay for the cows, which we don't have, but we'll be getting, make one of them into silage or silage for the cows, which we don't have, but we will be getting. That way we can and actually turn all the rest into silage. We can sell the silage bales. This is a bit odd, I know, but if we were to sell the silage bales, people are always willing to pay um, a bit more for silage than they are for hay. If we sell the silage bales, uh, which would be, I believe, 4,000 4, litres of silage per bale, if we were to sell them, we could potentially make our money back fairly quickly. The downside there is we would need a bale wrapper. Which, and it would have to be a round bale wrapper. Which would be an extra outlay of costs in the region of, if I have a look, the cheapest one I see is, is 42,000 pounds. Which is in fact more expensive than the bailer. I may have a look on eBay and see if there is anything um, more in our price range, which is essentially as cheap as we can chuffing well get it, because this farm is not going to pay for itself in any time soon. Oh, good lord, I've just gone straight into the crop. There we go. To Lizetto. There we go. I think the faster way around is going to be this way. If you'll just excuse me driving through this edge for a moment. We can get the combine unloaded in no time whatsoever. It's just occurred to me. We have four fields of crops, I believe. Let me have a look at my map. We have four, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fields of crops, most of which are currently ready to harvest. I think. I think our best course of action would be to borrow a more reasonable sized combine harvester um, for this harvest to rent one, because we, we, we can make the money back in, in crop sales come summer. I think our best case scenario Will be. It is actually summer right now, so we can sell the crops almost immediately today. I think our best case scenario is to rent a combine harvester. As bizarre as that, as bizarre as that sounds, if we were to keep the dominate for bringing it down to Dave and giving it to him as a gift, we could. Yes, I think I'll do that. So what I'll do. Is I will pause the recording and turn the camera off very quickly. And I'll be back when we've got a much more suitable combine harvester. So, stay where you are. 
I'll be back in a moment. Righty ho then, we're back. As you can see, I've got a massive Ferguson now. Got the, uh, the drone following it. So, I will likely show you the drone footage of this. Just made it back from the shop uh, where we picked it up. They handle all the rentals in the area. It, called, it is, of course, brand new as per Declan's bizarre rules regarding rent. And, oh dear, will it fit through the gate? Oh, that was very close. So, here we go. Let's start on folding the combine here. Get the combine header on. So now we can. How do we want to start this now? Because I've got two headlands done here and three done over here. Oh, bugerations. I'm going to just do the third headland over here as if it's. as if it was always going to be this. Just going to continue on. Uh, as you can see, I've parked up the Dominator. That is no longer necessary for us, as we have a far bigger and therefore better combine harvester. This is the Massey Ferguson Activa. It has a 25 foot header, as opposed to the, I believe, 15 foot header of the um, class, which means this thing can really pile through the crop. Or would, if I could actually get it lined up on a turn. Quentin, you fool. However, silliness aside, we, um, we should be able to just glide through the rest of this field now with very little bother. And I get to practice and play about with the big machinery. It is always a good idea. Are we chopping straw? Are we dropping a swath? We are dropping a swath. A swath. I was a bit worried there when I couldn't see a straw swath. But we are dropping one. And we are making quite good progress through this field, even if I don't say so even if I do so say so myself. We should be through it in no time whatsoever. Then we can just move on to the next field, and then the next field, and then the field after that. Oh dear. This is going to be a very long day, I feel. But the important thing to remember is that we can now work on harvest related items, such as harvesting and moving the harvested material and harvesting more material and then baling the harvested materials leftover material and then selling our crops which that is actually a very important thing believe it or not is selling the crops because otherwise we wouldn't make any money and that would not be a good idea whatsoever just going to stop here for a moment should be long enough. Perfect. Onwards and upwards. So I, d I don't know how long um, this video is going to be, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this headland if I actually have the capacity in the harvester remaining to do so. And um, that will be all of the headlands for this field. Which means we get to do the uppy downy bits next. And I get to worry about if I'm driving in a straight line or not. Bear with me one moment. There we go. So, much about this harvester, I don't know. I don't know why it has so many buttons over there. All I was told was press that button there to turn it on, 
I press that one over there to raise and lower the header as a whole. I don't know why it needs a... Oh god, they never told me. You see, this one? What a good first guess. They never told me which button I needed to press to get the pipe out. That was an oversight, wasn't it? So it's that one over there. Okay, got it. It's the yellow one there on the, the stick. I don't know how to start dumping, but that's a problem I'll run into later. I say later, I mean actually quite soon, because I've just spotted how close, or how full the harvester is. Bother. To be honest, the main issue I'm going to run into is how much room is left... <laughs> <laughs> we, yes, we need to actually empty the um, the trailer before we can empty the harvester. I have just spotted the trailer, or well, remembered that the trailer is almost full. In fact, two thirds full. That means it won't carry the eight and a half thousand liters that we currently have in this harvester. That means we're going to have a very long drive ahead of us when we get back to the Zetto, which should be now in a moment. It'd be very helpful if I actually took care of, well, more care of how full this blasted thing is. So let's go over to the Zetto. And first course of action, empty this trailer. Second course of action, empty that combine harvester. Third course of action, Get back in the combine, I believe. They're potentially empty again, actually. Because if we're two thirds full with 9,200 liters of wheat, yes, we'll have to empty this twice. <clears throat> yes, every time we empty the combine harvester, we'll have to empty also the trailer. Which, that's not an ideal situation. Oh well, there's nothing that can be done about it. Barring getting a bigger trailer, but I don't see the point in renting a combine for £20,000 and then renting a bigger trailer just to deal with it. Um, our best bet is to just deal with what we've got. And that little bit that I missed is in fact very little indeed. Our best bet is to just ignore the fact that the trailer can't hold everything and pretend that it's, well, the trailer could, but it can't unload twice. Let's just pretend that it gets full every single time. It's fine. Everything's fine. There we go. Around, did we hit the baler? Yes, we did. All right then, that was the wrong way around. This way around. And when the combine is emptied and we've unloaded the trailer once again, last, did not allow myself enough room to make that turn at all. When the combine is emptied and when the combine is emptied <laughs> and um, so is the trailer, I will end the video there because. We still have quite a bit of driving to do today. We've got to get up over the... No, we've got to get out here, turn left, go to the gate, turn left, get up to the combine, and probably make a very tight left turn over there. Seeing as we are going by um, what appears to be NASCAR rules. To get up to the combine, turn around, empty the combine, drive back, turning right this time, and... Um, empty the trailer once again. So here's the gateway and left. We'll have a right turn up here. If we didn't I would think I was being very American and playing NASCAR. So do we even need to turn around here? We do need to turn around but not to get to the combine harvester. I will turn around, however, because it is the um, 
and probably the more efficient way to approach this. Especially seeing as plus that gateway is just a bit too far forward. If that gateway was five or ten yards further back, like back over there, I could have actually turned it into that field and used that as a turning vein. However, just turn here and just about avoid the props. Get the pipe over the trailer. There we go. See how, f how long this takes to unload. And uh, just wait for that to happen. I might take a picture while I'm waiting. Yes, indeed. Let's take a picture of this to uh, memorize the event. There we go. Perfect. Almost empty now. It is now empty. So here we go with 8,600 8, liters of wheat grain in the trailer. Next job is to empty the trailer and move on from there. Which will presumably more, be more harvesting, which I might do without the cameras present. To attempt to get a couple of loads of wheat together to be sold off at the market. Because I think, I think the best way forward is to get a baler. I don't think it particularly matters if I get round or square. The ground round here, the land round here is very flat, so I think our best bet is basically get a baler of a square baler. It would be more convenient, I believe. Hmm. I know there is a Massey Ferguson 5 baler available, so it's not... I think that might be our best option, is, is the Massey Ferguson 5 and, and deal with whatever problems come with that. So... I will leave you today by saying I have been Quentin. You've been watching my escapades on Orchard Farm here. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. And share the video with your friends by talking to them in person, face to face. These text messages and blasted infernal cellular telephones are ruining society. However, that's another problem. Until next time, pip pip cheerio, and goodbye.